today I'm here with a new video and today it is time for the last video in my Nobel Cutie Week and this of course with the palette number 7 Analog. This is their one of their neutral ones but it is kind of dark and it's reflecting in the lights. Uh, it's kind of dark. So yeah, I'm going to do a look with this and then in the end of this video I'm going to talk and do a review on all the palettes and I also think that I will rank them and which one is my favorite is a really really easy for me to choose which one is in the bottom is also really easy but in between not that easy but yeah I think we just get started because I think this video is has the chance to be long but you never know with me I never know how much I'm going to talk in the review part but I think it's just best that we hop into this. And as I have done in all the other videos, I do not want to do a complicated look. I want to do something that goes pretty fast and is pretty easy to do. And I think it's one shade in this that I haven't used and it's this noise one. So I'm planning on using contact sheet in my crease and noise and 35 millimeters on my lid. And I hope that that will look good. And do a look just a little bit low maybe. So I think I will just get started and we will see where this will take me. I think I actually only used this palette once in my first impression. I did a first impression with this one at the midnight when they came out. And I can't remember, was it? Was it in the, in the middle of the summer they came out? I like don't know, this year has went by so so fast. I don't get how it is. October. And my dangling little Hangers are making sounds that only I can hear. I like this shade, but I don't know if it is that special. And I actually have no idea what I want to place this palette in my ranking, just because I've only used it once. But we will see. I'm a little bit not sure about some of the palettes. So I will go in with noise then, this one, and I will test with this brush. This is a fluffy bl blush brush. It looks a little bit dirty, but I have used the color switch, so hopefully it will work. And I will take this on my outer part. Maybe not the super best brush. I still think it's it's workable. I think I just need to maybe press a little bit more than smudge it on. And this is the shade. I don't think I ever have used this one. No, because I didn't use it in my first impression and I have only used the palette once, so yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to blend it in my crease. So I dip the tip of the brush and I think the specks will go away a little bit when I blend it, but I still feel like it's possible to blend it to have it a little bit darker. Yes, it is. The only thing is the specks are disappearing a little bit, but you know what? I don't want the specks in my crease, so I do not really care about that. And it feels like this is one of the shades like you need to Pack it on kind of good. And 
then you can start to move it around. And okay, this is my problem. Area on my eye. It's so freaking dry. And I'm so sorry that I say that every time. But I just want you to know that it's not because of the eyeshadow, it is a little bit off out here because I am so dry, so it's like my eyes sucking up all the eyeshadow primer and then when I'm going in with the shadow, it's like nothing left for it to set in. Okay, so on this eye, the sparks did not blend away as much as, as it did on the other eye. So I go in with my crease brush. I don't mind super much if I have some sparkles in my crease. Just like it's looking a little bit of a mess right now, everything. But okay. Is it something that we are not used to on this channel? No. So I will go in with 35 millimeters on the rest of my lid. And I don't know how opaque this is because I have only used this in my inner corner. So maybe this isn't like opaque enough to fill up the rest of the lid without the glitter primer. But I will, we will just have to wait and see. Because I think this might be a little bit, maybe not flimsy, but yeah, okay. I know how I'm going to look. Tomorrow I'm going to have specs all over. Okay, I think it's a little bit like with a darker shade. If I pack it on, it works kind of good. Is this what I imagine this look to be? I don't know because I don't know what I imagine it to be. Maybe not this uh, sparkly. Because especially the dark one has more like glitter specks in it and being a shimmer shade. So it's not like a metallic shimmer. But I think I have nothing against it except it feels like I'm going to have these specks on my face the rest of the day and also tomorrow that I don't like with these kinds of shades because I know that they're like impossible to get off your face. But okay, I think the lids are done like this. It feels like it's going to lay in my creases. I'm getting older. But I think I like it. It's not my favorite look I've done, but I don't hate it. So I will take away the crazy amount of fallouts that I have and fix my base, try to choose a lippy. I have these, I have these left that I haven't used. I'm not going to use this blue one <laughs> and I don't think I will use this. Uh, I can't remember what these were called. They came with the Dreamy 2, they are more like, <laughs> they are not matte, that was hard. Maybe I should use a red again or, and yeah, because I don't think this will go. Okay, we will see. It will probably be a red one, but then will it be matte or glossy? The last look for the Nobla week is done and I used Honey Dude, it must be. Yeah, Honey Dude in my waterline. And I took this, it's called Vicious. I can't remember like the name of the actual lipstick. It almost says, it almost says liquid lipsticks, but there is there a shiny one and I don't know why and it won't stop going on my teeth it's driving nuts and it just don't want okay do you know what I I can't do this I have to stay this way because it's going everywhere so I will just mess this up and oh my god how can it just give me a minute okay I switched to rogue assassin instead this was a limited edition I still love it though okay so I don't like this lipstick. I think I might declaring it because I think it goes everywhere. And now I don't hope I have anything on my teeth. And okay, 
I hate to redo my lips because I always feel like it's so hard to get it even then. Enough about the lipstick problem. So this is my last look in my Nabla week. This is with an analog palette and I do like this look. Do I think it's the most fun look? No. Do I think it's a, a normal look? Yes. So I did use three shades. So I used contact sheet, this one, and that was I have it in my crease and underneath my eyes. Noise and 35 millimeters. And I think it is good. So I guess we should hop in to my review with these. And also I'm going to rank them. I can talk a little bit like overall with the palettes and what do I think. And I need to scratch my face. And I have like red everywhere on all the fingers. So okay, my all over review with the cutie palettes. I think they they I think that they have the same formula and I think that you can buy the palette that you like the color store from. What I don't like with them, it's it is different amounts of shimmers and mattes and all the other formulas they have on their shadows. It doesn't bother me that much, but I feel like some of the palettes I think it's in the Metropolitan. It's only two mattes, this one and this one. This you can use kind of as a matte, but it isn't a matte matte. And I, I, I don't like that that much. I think they could have done it in a better way. But other than that, I think they are good, they are the same quality as Nabla's other palettes, and I don't think any of the palettes is bad in formula. I think they are all similar, it's just some of them have more matte, some of them have more shimmers. But all, overall I think it's good palettes. They are maybe a little bit expensive for only being six shades, but at the same time I think they are, they are kind of big at least. I don't know how deep they are, but they are a kind of big. So, okay, I do recommend these and I think that you can go the color story that you want. But I am going to rank these now and I will talk about the palettes a little bit more. Okay, so I think we can hop in to the review part. And I will start in the bottom and go to the top. I think you might know which one is my favorite. But I'm not sure. I have hair in my mouth. But we will see. So, in the bottom I have the Midnight one. And it's mainly because I don't like blue. Because I think that the palettes are good. Like, all the palettes are good. But it's just not the blue. It's not my... It's not my thing. I have tried and tried and tried. I have done some blue looks that I like, but I don't think it's like these kinds of blues aren't my kind of blue. And also with this palette, if you're going to do a blue palette Nabla, don't put in this one. I don't know what this is doing here. I think it would look or would be better with one more matte, one maybe brighter matte that would go amazing with sapphire, but yeah, it is a good palette, it's not the most amazing blues that I have used, this shade is nice, but it's just blue is not my thing and it bothers me that this one isn't blue. I think the palette would have been so much better if it was six blue shades. And this one it does, does look white to you, I think, but it has a blue tint to it, so yeah, that's why it is in the bottom. In place number six, I took the nude one, and uh, it has nothing to do with the colors. They are good, this black one is good, but it's just like, I think this is a boring palette. I know it's a new palette, but you could do something more fun. I think this is a palette 
yeah maybe if you find like your signature look with this one it's good but for me this has very many eyeshadow palettes I don't feel like I can do similar looks with this maybe it's because this is not my favorite theme my favorite color story it is nothing wrong with it but I don't know what to do with this and if I wasn't a collector when it comes to Nabla's eyeshadow palette, I don't think I actually would have bought this. It is a good palette, but it's just not for me. In place number five, and here it became a little bit hard, but I actually took the Metropolitan. And I do like the look I did with this one, but... I think that something is missing in this one. And I know that my ranking may have changed now since I did my ranking on my novel palettes, but now I have used all the palettes once more. And using palettes from the same brand, like I have recorded these videos during one and a half week, I think, and using the same brand and the same line that's close together, it's really easy to compare the palettes to each other instead of maybe using one of the cutie palettes, then three weeks, four weeks later, use another one. So I think it's easier to do a ranking video when you've just used the palettes and they've used them together. Maybe that's just a little bit of a disclaimer. I really do like the shades in this palette, but I, <laughs> this pink is really good, but I think I would want another brown. Who are you looking at? I don't know. But I think with these f more fun shimmers, I think it would be better with another brown shade because I can only talk for me, I'm really pale, but I don't have that many options to take in my crease. And I do like to have a shade in my crease. You don't have to have it, but I do like to have it. And I think they could have put in one a little bit brighter and lighter brown it doesn't have to be super light but a little bit lighter than this one and skip the pink actually but yeah i love the packaging with this one because of this little ghost so in place number four is the palette that i have on today the analog palette and this is also a neutral palette i think this could go as a nude too if they would want it but I rank this higher because I think I have more options with this one. And it is a little bit darker, but it still has two shades that work amazing for me to have in my crease. And it's this, this contact sheet and this camera roll. And it has two dark shades and it has two shimmers. And this overexposed is actually really nice. I hope maybe can, you can't see a shit. It is like a bit pink peach and gold and I really do like all the shades in this and I think this is so much better than the new palette and I think the color story is interesting for being a more new palette. And in place number three, I think this surprised me the most, but after I've used this palette once more, have compared it more to the other ones, I actually took Wildberry. I <laughs> thought that I was going to love this palette the first time, I didn't do it, and I have... Have I done... Maybe get red with me when I use this? I think I've done two videos with this one. I think it was to get red with me. I can't remember. But now when I used it again, I do really like it. This Alchemy is a really nice color and I think I have a cat or somewhere in my face that annoys the crap out of me. It was really, really nice to have on a glitter primer. And I like this more. I like this more than I thought I would do. 
And now I actually think I will use this more. I always like, okay, I like the Metropolitan much more than this one, but I actually think I like this more. I think though, if they have done another background, a lighter background, and maybe take like the, this color on the inside of the palette, I think the colors in the palette would have popped so much more. But this is, yeah, I really like this one actually. And now I really want to use it more. And I'm so happy with it. Okay, so the two last palettes and I guess you know which the two is and I guess that you know which one is going to be on top. So the runner up is Coral. And this is mainly my favorite because of this red shape. It is an amazing color. But I also really love this pink one in this. It's such a bright pink. And I like the shimmers and I think it's a good with a deeper brown so you can deepen it down if you want to. But I think that I got you and red shape are two shades that you can have all over your lid and be done. And I just think this is a good mix and I love that they mixed pink and red. And I just, I've been in love with this since the first time I used it. And it's just a really good little six pan palette and I think it's a good palette. Yeah, I hate to say this because I don't travel that much, but when I do travel, I often take this one because I can always do something fun. If I take a more neutral palette and take this one, I can do something fun. So, okay, the last palette is, or the top is Platinum. I, I do really love this. I love the color story. I love the theme. And I just, I just love this. I know that this is a palette with only two mattes as well, as I complained a little bit about earlier. But in this one it doesn't bother me, because this is... I don't know if you can say monochromatic palette, because it's not a monochromatic palette. But what you see is what you're going to get. You're going to get something grunge, you're going to get something cool. You can do a whatever you can mix whatever shades in this with each other i think at least or in my opinion and the shimmers are just so so amazing i love this rich darling and these two together makes an amazing look and like these two together make an amazing look and these two together and i just think it is a pretty unique palette at least in my collection and I just love this. This is the one that I recommend the most. Because I don't think you have... It's a really cool color story with only six shades. I just love this palette and I could nag on about it forever. But yeah, that was my review with all the cute palettes. I don't think any of them are bad. They are the same in the quality some of the shimmers you can get really really bright and fun with a glitter primer or if you just want a hint of them you can use it without the glitter primer and the only thing that I have noticed when I've used this after each other the mattes are super super pigmented and Sometimes it's hard to find a crease shade, but at the same time I'm a little bit happy that they haven't put in like a bone color or a normal brown that suits the most of us in each of the palettes. I think that is good that they haven't done it because I think it makes them more unique and they only have six colors. But okay, I don't know what more to say. I really hope that you've liked this week. It has been so fun to play with my cute palettes more. Even though that my planning with this wasn't that good because this video is going up tomorrow and I'm going to have a live on my Instagram that you can't see now because it was today and this video is coming tomorrow. So I wasn't that good on planning. But it just has been so fun to play with these. I am so glad that I have them. If it wasn't Nabla, I wouldn't have 
bought them all. Uh, I know that I would have bought the Platinum palette and the Coral palette. The other ones, honestly, I don't know if I would have bought them if it wasn't Nabla. Now when I like it more, I would have <laughs> bought Wildberry. I don't know if I would have done it before. So yeah, is that everything I'm going to say about palettes? I think so. And also maybe I, if you have ever seen me review Nabla palette before, I, or talked about <laughs> Nabla palettes, I really love their packaging. The palettes are not too heavy, but not too light. And they are in cardboard. And they have a mirror and I love that. I know that not everybody care, but I do. And they just feel really, really good. And I actually think that all of these are 100% vegan. I guess that the most things from Nabla is 100% vegan. Vegan, vegan, vegan. So yeah, I really hope you have liked this week. It has been so fun. I don't know what my next theme week will be and I don't know when it will come. It might take a little bit, take a while. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and thank you so much for liking my videos, commenting on my video this week and it has been so, so fun. And to using my Nabla lipsticks as well, I realized I have so many reds from Nabla. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope I'll see you tomorrow because tomorrow it's coming up a fun video. I'm finally doing a collab again. So yeah, I really hope that you liked this video and I hope I'll see you tomorrow, even though my Nabla week is over. Bye!